um good evening to all of you guys can you hear me is my voice is audible please confirm yes sir audible okay yes, sir, audible sir great uh, see guys last time we discussed about sap as for hana consultant uh, roles and responsibilities right okay so today uh, the same thing we will also continue so last time we only discussed about the strategic level so today we will discuss uh, some important areas which sap consultant plays very crucial role okay so let me open up sap document so last time so we discussed about um, the requirement gathering this is one of the uh, prime responsibility of sap as for hana consultants okay so now the second requirement uh, which we are discussing is system configuration okay so you are also part of this areas in real time okay requirement gathering system configuration testing training support you also part of improvements documentation and also collaboration efforts these are very important and very crucial roles that sap as for hana or fico consultant will perform in real time not only fico other module consultant also will do the same thing uh, if you are functional consultant you need to uh, you need to make sure that you should be uh, very proficient in these areas okay so uh, last time we discussed about the requirement gathering how the requirement should be gathered and what is master data and what is transactional data okay and uh, uh, generally what are the cutover activities okay so these discussions happened in the last uh, class and what is kick off meeting and uh, so in the initial stage how the project we will get okay and uh, so uh, once the project we got what kind of uh, duties we need to perform so today uh, we will discuss okay so very important session guys and these sessions are definitely helpful to everyone and uh, the initial stage we are discussing um, these topics okay uh, like uh, so these are all completely project related and uh, it would helpful uh, to understand sap system okay before going to understand sap system so we should know what are the projects we have and uh, how to handle the projects okay so these are all initial discussions are very crucial at the initial stage of learning okay and the second thing is system configuration before going to system configuration so let me brief about uh, some important uh, areas so last time we discussed about the s4 hana consultant roles and responsibilities as for our consultant roles and responsibilities so last time we discussed the strategic level okay so last time we discussed about the strategic level the second thing is operational level so operational level means before before making the system ready okay so initially we need to gather all the requirement of the client okay last time we discussed about the client uh, related data master data transactional data so if this data has already exist okay then we need to bring this data from non sap system to sap system okay so um, so in order to bring this non sap system to sap system first we need to uh, analyze what kind of data we have and what kind of master data we have so tell me anyone what is the master data so in sap fico uh, what are the master data we have gl master sir, data gl master data okay asset master data okay and then customer master data vendor master data okay so gl master vendor master customer master asset master bank master okay so nowadays vendor master bank master in sap as well as a business part business partner business partner including customer master data and vendor master both are integrated in sap as well hana so earlier in acc business uh, vendor master is different um, there are different t codes customer master has different t codes 
but in sap as kohana so we will call it as a bp business partner business partner means including vendor and customer okay whenever i say business partner that means it's a vendor and customer integration okay both are integrated in sap okay next uh, so in uh, controlling model we have also master data cost elements cost centers profit center internal data or uh, tell me what are the transactional data sir gl open items gl no. open items gl closed items gl closed items closed items gl, bal GL okay. balances mm -hmm. vendor, vendor open items vendor closed uh, Items. Okay, all open items, period items, balances. Okay, so if uh, trial balance, financial statements, if client has this data earlier, okay, we need to bring this data from non SAP system to SAP. Non SAP system is called as legacy system. We need to bring all this master data and transaction data. Got my point? Okay. So, so before going to the system configuration, so initially requirement gathering will be happened. So requirement gathering is nothing but operational level. Okay, operational level means, okay, strategic level means uh, how many resources are required, what is the project goals, objectives, SLA, duration. Okay, and uh, so when we are going to finish a project, there is uh, some uh, KT discussion, KT plans. Okay, and uh, so workshops will be uh, conducted by your project manager. These are all initial discussions. Okay, you you participate only in kickoff meeting. Rest of the things will be taken care by um, your SAP. Uh, sorry, uh, rest of the things will be discussed in the next stage. So uh, only high level people will will be involved in the strategic level. Your role is nothing. Okay, and operational level means requirement gathering. Okay, so here uh, there are three important uh, uh, areas we should learn in the operational level. Okay, as is, as is to be gap. So these are the three important areas in SAP. As is means client information, client business information. Okay, so to be means SAP information. Gap means the difference between client requirement and SAP. So we need to gather this information from the client. It's between as is and the to be. So as is means client business requirement. This will be provided to our client based upon this as is information. So client will tell you how many company codes are there, how many business areas are there, how many plans are there. Okay, and uh, so like a complete business process, P2P process, complete procurement process, complete uh, order to management process, how the customer will order, so how we record in SAP, what is contract, these are all billing, how the billing will happen to customer. Okay, and uh, so a complete order to our process, record to report process. Okay, so how the transaction should be recorded in SAP, what are the approvals we have. Okay, so these are all things will be discussed with the, your client. That is called as as is. As is means organizational details. Tell me what are the organization details we have? Organization details. Company, company code, plan, storage, location, sales organization, distribution, etc. Okay. Super. So in SAP FIC we have client is one of the organization, highest organization. Client is the highest organization in SAP. Then company, then controlling area, then company codes, then plans, then storage locations, okay, then purchase organizations, um, then uh, you know, so I'm telling all the organization units including upper. In SAP FIC, so first client then operating concern, then controlling areas, then company code, business areas, okay, and uh, functional areas, segments, okay, these are all organizational units. SAP SD, I told you, sales organization, distribution channels, divisions, sales area, sales group, okay, these are all organization uh, uh, structured elements, okay. So, we should know, so we should know these are, all, these are all things, and also we should know the client business process. 
like what is uh, what what kind of procurements we will deal with the external vendors okay and uh, so how the manufacturing process will happen okay and what is the complete p2p cycle okay how the procurement things will happen okay what is the process for that and uh, for the internal uh, budget approval who are the responsible okay and who will approve the po and uh, what is the strategy uh, standard, uh, standard hierarchy for that for approvals workflow approvals are called as a workflow okay and uh, so what kind of sales will happen to the customers okay so who are the external customers with uh, uh, with uh, for, for our company okay these are all discussions uh, will happen at the initial uh, stage okay we should know the p2p process what is the process what are process organizational units okay then we will do the configuration without knowing this stuff so we cannot do configuration that is the reason here uh, so three uh, important documents which plays a crucial role in every company okay the first thing is uh, the first thing which i am telling you guys so as is so this document will be provided by your client and to be to be means sap information how we are going to map into sap system gap means uh, the difference between as is and to be okay the difference between as is and to be means whatever the client information is there okay that we are not able to map into sap system for some client scenarios we cannot able to map into system for example uh, let me give one example let me take one example so recently i purchased one software okay that software name is class clues okay in this software uh, i need to record all the students names details address fees and everything and also i want to conduct sessions in this class clue or software okay so uh, uh, there is one special app uh, design for our trainees okay after designed uh, this app so we come to know that okay so we come to know that so uh, once uh, session is ended up the recorded video is not available on this part so this class clues will share the recorded video after 24 hours but not before that now for my requirement is client require my requirement my requirement is client requirement is okay i need immediate recorded video because at the end of the session students will make practice okay but Uh, so class clues is a software um, they are not providing this option as is means recorded video on immediate basis one session is ended up to be means in sap the same thing will happen in sap so like uh, here the class clues will provide the same thing okay but unfortunately class clues doesn't have this facility okay class clues uh, will not providing the recorded video at the end of the class that is the issue so now you people understand that so uh, in real time so many scenarios sap system will not provide sta standard solution okay so we need to do some customization so then class clues will do customization and they will provide the recorded video so like that uh, so standard sap system is ready made system a ready made system is uh, not providing the proper solution for the client requirement then we will go for customization with our abapper okay abapper is a technical person he knows okay how to do configuration and all okay so he knows uh, how to do customization and all so the, they will uh, provide uh, that facility if abapper says okay this functionality is not at all possible okay this functionality is not at all possible then we will go for uh so sap directly we need to suggest sap so please provide the solution okay so our uh, our requirement is this okay but uh, in sap we do not have this uh, functionality so then uh, so we will raise the ticket to the sap and uh, sap will provide the solution for that those things comes under the gap gap analysis okay gap means client business scenarios not fulfilling by sap then we will go for customization with our abapper if abapper says there is no feasibility at all 
okay by doing this active doing this scenario in our business system then go for uh, uh, sap directly so if uh, ab appreciates we will provide the solution then we will make some uh, customization for them with the vapor only those things uh, which are not uh, provided by standard sap then it will go for customization so we will connect initially ab appar and then so we will discuss uh, with uh, all the requirement with ab appar if ab appar says this feasibility is okay okay and uh, so he will do uh, respect to uh, he will he will fill, uh, fulfill the requirement then fine okay so both fi and ab appar will fulfill the requirement then fine if ab appar says there is no feasibility then we will directly write the ticket to our sap partner sap directly and uh, so sap will provide the solution for that got my point any idea any uh, issue in this so gap means client business scenario is not fulfilling by sap standard system sap standard system sap standard system with the ready made system so if you want to fulfill the requirement we need to make some customization okay that's that customization things will be discussed with our evapor and uh, so we need to give affairs document functionally okay then evapor will do that uh, will uh, will fulfill the requirement if evapor says this is not at all possible then we will go for custom uh, sap directly we need to raise uh, uh, some uh, notes or we need to uh, uh, so log into the sap portal and we need to raise the ticket then sap comes sap will provide the solution for that okay so now you should understand that these are the three important areas we should learn one is as is this information will be provided by your client as is means so client business information okay client business information means so like master data and transactional data Uh, uh complete uh, p2p what is see all the business process he will share real share means we need to connect and we will we will have to gather we need to set up my different kind of workshops we need to set up calls meetings discussions then you will get this as information okay whatever the client has the uh, details uh, documents those documents will be shared okay apart from this anything is required then you need to set up meetings calls okay and uh, emails and etc those things by using this uh, communication then we will get this information so to be means sap so how we are going to map into sap system so we need to based upon the client information so client has 10 company codes you need to configure this 10 company codes into our sap system client has 10 plans you need to configure this 10 plans into sap system okay so client has the 10 business areas you need to configure this 10 business areas in the sap system client has p2p process uh, complete business process those business process we need to customize in our sap system got my point so so these are all discussions sir. initial discussions have happened in the uh, requirement gathering stage like uh, so operational stage planning stage means only uh like you know uh, so you will attend the kick off meeting okay here your project manager will guide it uh, project goals objectives sla duration business process okay this is completely strategy your role is nothing okay these things will be taken care by high level management okay but in the operational level you need to gather the requirement so you will have to gather the requirement that is very vital right so without the gathering the requirement you cannot configure in the sap system so we need to prepare the two important documents one is as is document second one is to be document and third one is gap analysis in sap as for now it is called as a fit gap analysis okay so in sap as for now blueprints are not required generally in acc uh, we need to uh, for example if client has 10 company codes on uh, this 10 company codes data we need to gather and we need to prepare the uh, business blueprint for this 10 company codes and we need to take sign off from your client so those are all things are not required in sap as for now so blueprint concept is not more no more in sap as for now but in ecc uh, we need to create a business blueprint to be document is just like blueprint 
or based upon the IG's information. But in SAP as well, the concept is different, no blueprints are required. Okay, so those things uh, in, we will discuss how the, um, the plans, uh, how the uh, requirement gathering and how the documentation part will be there in SAP as well. Now we will discuss in advanced classes. This is just like uh, orientation classes for everyone to understand the project, how the implementation project uh, will happen and what is your roles and responsibilities in that. So these discussions are happening. Okay, these are all orientation sessions for everyone to know about the SAP projects. Okay. So, in the operational level, there are three important uh, core documents which you know. As is means this information, a uh, client will share you. To be means how we are going to map into SAP system based upon this as information. Okay, this is a SAP document standard of uh, uh, this document we need to prepare and uh, so we will uh, um, so before configuration before doing configuration we will make one document so to be document how we are going to map into SAP system to be means how we are going to map into SAP system this is technical document I will share you some blueprints also okay in the advanced classes so gap means uh, some of the important scenarios in this system so um, like uh, a client has this scenario so if you purchase any product, okay, so if customer, sorry, if customer uh, uh, purchase any product from the company, then uh, so our company will give, okay, so 5% cash discount and two products are free of cost. Okay, and uh, uh, see, if you buy any product, finished product, so another, uh, so another requirement is we need to give the two products completely free. Okay, this kind of requirement, they, uh, so we didn't uh, find any in the SAP solution, SAP software, just like I'm telling you. So this is the client requirement. If this solution is not there in SAP, we will discuss with our ABAPR. So how we need to uh, configure in our SAP system. Okay, so if ABAPR uh, will do any customization, okay, then fine. So if your backer says so, oh, no, it's not possible. This uh, functionality is critical. Okay, so we need to connect to SAP directly. Then we need also connect to SAP uh, for this requirement. I'm just uh, telling you. So this kind of requirements so, uh, also happen in every business. So that is the reason. So these things comes under the fit gap analysis. Okay. So as a functional consultant, so you need to prepare separate document. So the document named fit gap analysis document. Okay, gap means difference between client scenario and uh, SAP system, standard SAP system. Standard SAP is ready-made system. So after gathering the requirement, so how we need to gather the requirement, really, uh, set up multiple calls, meetings, workshops, emails, then you will get this information. So without uh, doing these things, Okay, how we can uh, get this information, how we can uh, map into SAP system, that is difficult task, right? So uh, that's the reason we need to conduct uh, workshops. Okay, and uh, we need to uh, uh, discuss these things to the uh, client. Like, uh, so if you provide this information in SAP, how we are going to map. Those things also we will uh, discuss with our, uh, our end users. So at the initial stage, this information will be provided by the core users. SAP core user means the client side, they will, uh, client side, uh, core users will be there. So their qualification, BCOM, MCOM, those people will provide um, the client business information. Okay, core users will provide the uh, complete uh, business information. Based upon this business information, we need to configure it to our SAP system. And also, we need to prepare the fit gap analysis document. That is your responsibility. Okay, got my point. So now the system configuration. See, once the strategic level, operational level is done, then configuration level. So uh, configuration, there are two types of configuration mainly we have. Uh, so baseline configuration. Okay, and the final configuration. So far, we didn't touch the SAP system. Okay, 
So we are gathering the requirement and we are preparing the documentations and we are analyzing the gap. Okay, these are all operational level. Okay, so uh, and we are conducting several workshops with our end users and discussing those details. Okay, but but in the configuration level, we need to do everything in the system. We need to do everything in the system. We need to do everything means we need to configure all the modules in our system. Okay, we need to uh, make ready our system for end users. Okay, we are not involved in the system perspective in the above areas like operational strategic level. We didn't discuss anything uh, related to system. Only oral discussions and uh, written documents. Okay, those things uh, uh, will be there in the strategic level operational level. But in the configuration level, we see baseline configuration and final configuration. Two important uh, configurations uh, uh, we need to perform in real time. These configurations are vital uh, for any builders. Okay, without doing this configuration, so nothing. Okay, so you will be participating in the baseline configuration and final configuration as well in the coming soon. So this is your prime duty. So you will be called as a FICO consultant or SWANA consultant or any functional consultant because of this configuration only. If you not do any configuration, then you will be a, like end user. Okay, this is the IT part. Okay, so we need to ready our system. We need to make system design with our evaporator and we need to do some configuration in our SAP system. These things, if you know, then you will be become SAP consultant. Okay, so everyone post the transaction. SAP end users post the transactions and you also post the transaction. But uh, so you will be called as SAP consultant whenever you are playing a crucial role in the configurations because this is the IT. Okay, IT means so configuration is part is completely IT. Here, uh, uh, this con doing configuration, no coding, no program is required. Basic stuff, I will tell you very easy. Okay, and uh, these things we will discuss in very easy mode. Don't worry about the configuration areas. Okay, so we will give you a clear understanding on these topics. Baseline configuration means uh, for uh, everyday business, okay, we will post uh, different kind of invoices and uh, we will create purchase orders, goods receipt invoice, okay, payments, and also we need to prepare some uh, non-PO invoices, PO invoices, Okay, a customer invoice, vendor invoice, GL invoice, clearings. Okay, for all this, we need to uh, make ready our system first. Okay, we need to make ready our system. We need to ready our system. Okay, we need to ready our system. That means we will have to make uh, do configuration. Okay, so based on configuration field for everyday business, the base, basic uh, requirements. For that, we need to do configuration. Okay, so like uh, without this, without doing this, uh, system cannot move ahead. Okay, system means business uh, cannot uh, smoothly uh, have, uh, happen. So baseline configuration, we will have to do. Okay, so all the uh, business related, which is required vital, okay, those configurations will do. Then final configuration. So here, FI is integrated with uh, MM module and uh, SD module also. Okay, and uh, PP model also. So this uh, integration part and the gap related stuff. Okay, like um, the rice shift things. Okay, rice shift means. So this is completely technical aspects. Okay, without a vapor, we cannot do anything in the rice shift. System design. So this is system design. Workflows, reports. Okay, so interfaces and uh, conversions. So enhancements, forms. Okay, rise up means. So this is advanced topic. This is in this area system design, enhancements, system enhancements, and third party integrations. Okay, advanced. So these rise if things objects, this rise if objects will be done in the final configuration, and. Uh, so this is called uh, this without a vapor help we cannot do anything so a vapor 
requirement is must for the below requirement. In real time, we need to work with cross module team members, HABABERS, MM, HDPT, other basis, security. Okay. So, project means total members, not by you. Okay. Not by one person or not by single person can do entire project. So, project means almost uh, 100 to 150 members will involve. So, without uh, these uh, members, without any module, also we cannot do anything. Project will not be completed. Okay, so your uh, responsibility is okay. So you need to uh, do configuration. Okay, so you need to perform uh, multiple configurations in our system. We need to uh, implement all the modules. All the modules means sub modules. FI is one module. MM is mod. Uh, MM, MM is one module. SD is one module. In SAP FI. So you need to do all the sub modules, GL, vendor, customer, payables, receivables. Okay, GL means R to R. So payable means P to P. And the receivable means uh, what is the, these are all things. Okay, you need to configure in the basement configuration. And final configuration, integration stuff. Okay, and the gap relay stuff will be done in the final configuration. Okay, so this is crucial. So you definitely involve in these areas. This is crucial. You definitely involve in these areas. Your role is high in this area. And requirement gathering, definitely you will involve. Without gathering the requirement, how you will configure? So the first duty is gathering the requirement. This is very important. Strategic level, okay, your role is nothing. This will be taken care of. Your high level management, not by you. Okay, so you will be participating only kickoff meeting. And uh, so like uh, kickoff meeting is just like introduction meeting with your client. So you are, uh, sorry, kickoff meeting, introduction meeting, meeting with your project manager and uh, your uh, senior members or junior members, all members are gathered in place and uh, your project manager will take workshop about project goals, objectives, SLA, duration. Okay, and uh, business process. Okay, so these are all initial discussions. Your role is nothing in this. Okay. So uh, second operational part and the configuration part is very crucial for you. Okay. And then so next one is testing. Once the planning is uh, over, then documentation part is completed and requirement gathering is completed. Then configuration is completed, then testing. Okay. Testing means we need to uh, test out multiple real-time scenarios of the client business process. Client has a different uh, business process and different uh, uh, scenarios will be there. Okay, so those scenarios we need to test out because uh, this configuration is a workout or not, workout or not, those things we will uh, come to know. Okay, whether it is a uh, wrong uh, configuration made or the right configuration, those things will be uh, analyzed in the testing phase. In the testing phase, configuration phase, okay, you will do internal configuration. After configuration, we will perform multiple test scenarios in the uh, SAP system, manual testing, automatic testing also there. So automatic testing tools are also there. So manual testing, we generally perform, function consultants will perform manual testing. So in manual testing, we need to test out multiple scenarios. Uh, some of the uh, testing tools I'm just uh, giving over here. So ALM tool, this is uh, generally used in every company. ALM means application lifecycle management. Most of the companies are using ALM tool. Okay, and uh, Jira, this is one of the testing tool. Okay, so and uh, there are so many test uh, scripts we need to write uh, for test scenarios and uh, we need to execute those test scenario in the SAP system and check whether uh, testing is successful or uh, not successful. Some case if a test is uh, applied, so test is uh, uh, test applied and test execution is done, uh, we will notify whether uh, this test script is successful or not. Okay, for every configuration, okay, for every configuration, for every model, okay, GL model, we need to test out 
ARP model, we need to test out. DR model, we need to test out. Fixed assets, we need to test out. Okay, all the tester scripts we need to write in the ELM tool and we need to test out in the SAP S1 system. Okay, so generally consultants will perform unit testing, integration testing, okay, regression testing, okay, main testing. These are the main testings. And UAT will be performed by user. So after and the consultant will perform testing, then we will ask the SAP and user, you also perform test. Okay, why? Because the user will post the transaction, right? So for transaction posting, we are doing all the testing. Okay, if user says, okay, this test script is not working for me. Okay, so I am not able to post this transaction, then you need to uh, revise your configuration. Okay, so unit testing, integration testing, regression testing, UAT testing, security testing, okay, performance testing. These are the main testing apps. So many other testing uh, um, are there like uh, penny testing, okay, positive, negative, snow testing. So many testings are there, but uh, these are the main testings in SAP. Okay, so if anyone asks you what types of testings are there, we need to perform these testings in SAP as well as our system. Unit testing, integration testing, regression testing. UAT will be performed by user. Whatever the configurations we performed, for example, GL model we implemented, we need to test out all GL model related uh, scenarios. Okay, and for that we need to write the test script. And we need to test out in, uh, so we need to write the test script in ELM and we need to do testing activity in SAP as well. So if test is successful for uh, our site, from our side, then it's fine. Then we need to ask the user, please the again test to the UAT. Uh, like you from user side, you need to also perform this act, test activities. If user says okay, then uh, so that uh, test is successful. Okay, then move forward the changes to production system. Okay, that things we will discuss later. So first understand the uh, things like uh, in uh, as a SAP S1 consultant. So we are also involving in the uh, testing activities. So there are uh, different kind of testings are there. Unit testing, integration, regression, UAT, security, performance testing. So by applying this uh, test scripts, we can come to know that, okay, so which areas we are making uh, make mistakes, okay, any wrong things, bugs, those things we can identify by doing these testings. Two types of testing, manual testing, automated testing. Generally, as a SAP consultant, Functional consultant. We are functional consultant. We will perform the manual testing activities, and we need to write the test script in the testing tool, ELM tool, and we need to execute all the test scripts in the SAP S1 system. Sometimes the test is failed, um, then again we need to check our system configuration. If test is okay, then fine. Then we will ask the if test is okay from our consultant side. We will ask the user again you perform the test because end user know the transactions. Okay, so day to day business you know what kind of transactions are post. Okay, so those things you know completely. Um, uh, that's the reason. Uh, so you we user also perform this testing. Without user performing testing, we cannot move ahead. If user says is okay, uh, then it's fine. If user says is the test script is not okay. Then again, we will uh, recheck our configuration part. Okay, just to understand the logic, any implementation, including these steps. Okay, strategy. Strategic level means planning. Strategy, then documentation, identifying the requirement, preparation of documentation, and configuration. Testing, then go live. Go live means we are delivering this SAP system to the end user. Send so user post the transactions. Okay, so we are doing complete back end work. We are doing, we are creating tax codes in back end. We are creating business places, company code, GL accounts, vendors, customers, everything we are creating in our system. Okay, once it is done, once the baseline and final configuration part is done, and implementation is done, system design, RISIC things are done, RISIC objects are done, then the system will move to the goal end. 
got my point okay so this is what the goal is and you just start the uh, start uh, uh, processing invoice payment etc right this is and you just start working as a system and non sap system will uh, closed and sap system will on okay non sap system will switch off and uh, we need to activate the sap system in sap system everything will perform so there is one fixed date will be uh, uh, selected on that fixed date so entire activities will move to the sap system non sap to sap then non sap system legacy system will be switch off and sap system will be switch on so entire activities will be performed in the sap system these are all background uh, things will be done by sap consultant any questions any questions sir security testing and performance testing done by us or uh, user yes uh, done by ourselves only because uh, security testing in some of the t codes uh, are working in our system or not those things will be done by um, security team and uh, sap functional consultant as well. sap end user will perform only um, uat uat means user acceptance test whatever the configuration we are doing okay that is okay from our side and we we perform test that is called unit test so unit test will be performed by our side only. okay then user will finalize okay this test is successful or fail because user now have different uh, the, the user also will check the different scenarios so, um, for that uh, particular a module or particular areas uh, so then he will conclude based upon that okay so we will uh, uh, finalize okay sir any other discussions activate methodology okay sap methodology activate methodology blue field green field okay so many customized methodology so many methodologies are there okay but um, these are initial discussions only uh, to know to give the basic idea regarding the projects at the initial stage like after 40 50 classes um, we will explain the uh, methodologies as well Okay, these are completely orientation sessions for you guys uh, to understand the projects, at least the basic technology. If you know, then we can proceed in the system. Sir, in kickoff meeting, we are having, uh, are we having interaction with the client core members? Meeting is introduction meeting. Okay, at the initial stage. Okay, you are moving to the client location. Okay, all people, all consultants will go to the client location. Then you are project manager on point meeting. Okay, and uh, he will take workshops. Okay, and uh, because he is the person, he knows the business process of the client. Because he is uh, with the client uh, from the initial stage, he knows. Okay, uh, so he will guide you the business process. Okay, details, and also he will tell you uh, from other module consultants. Okay, uh, who are participating. Uh, uh, for sd module uh, who are responsible for mm side who are responsible these are all discussions uh, happen in the kick off meeting and uh, how to gather the requirement from the client at his code of conduct ethics okay these things will be discussed in the kick off meeting so only consultants yeah. so, two persons will involve okay so if uh, there may be oh, will it be not it will involve or not involve that we cannot say these are the basic discussions happen at the every stage okay sir who will decide the time period between which the, the data has to be migrated from non legacy to legacy or uh, sorry legacy to sap whether it is client or uh, sap consulting client don't know right uh, client don't know about the sap so you are okay. consultant okay, okay. Then, only discuss, right, sir. Fine. consultant will know About the uh, how much time taken for data migration, okay, configuration, testing. These are all things. So you need to tell to the client. Okay. So that is the reason. Uh, 24 months means within 24 months. Uh, for uh, six months for data migration, six months for the testing activity, and 10 months for configuration, and four five months for uh, data like the developments. 
rise if objects these are all things are segregated at the initial stage right thank you okay you are a safety expert uh, expert so you know need to know these things don't ask the client okay thank you sir in kick off meeting how many at least how many members are involved okay okay yeah. so some people will participate in the meeting some people involved in the middle okay so i told you the project team is almost 100 to 150 members okay so total project so kick off meeting will be taken to care by your project manager or any uh, uh, business leads or delivery heads so they take in care high level people don't worry about the once you join the company the project manager will uh, come to you and they will uh, you can ask the questions whatever Or they will take a KT plan on that. Okay, right. So, uh, thank you so much, and uh, we will wind up the session. Uh, before uh, going to uh, close the session, uh, so people who joined recently, so please uh, connect to Kadar Sir or Abdul Sir uh, for uh, registration. This is important, and also if you are already uh, done registration. So you send your screenshots, sir, payment screenshot to CBM and Sheikh Babji. Both you need to send. Okay, Sheikh Babji, and uh, so me, you need to send the payment screenshots. Okay, that is important. And don't send any payment screenshot to my WhatsApp group, WhatsApp or uh, Skype groups. Okay, send me uh, the payment screenshot CBM and Sheikh Babji. Okay, and uh, if you have any administration related problems, you can connect Babji, sir. first contact and second contact kadar sir okay and if you are not taken server access so far okay so in chat box i mentioned so you can directly connect um, this server guy babu server and get the server access on immediate basis you can connect to this server person three month server will provide okay and regarding the previous videos okay so uh, i uh, so here just uh, go up so all the recorded videos are available okay shared video last class video okay so last class video available and uh, you can also see day one class day two class total four classes this is completely basic uh, orientation classes okay so uh, before going to sap system uh, we should understand uh, the basic requirements okay so um, these are all uh, um, class notes also given so please uh, watch out the video first and then uh, so then uh, you can decide okay so free classes almost ended up okay so almost given four to five class free classes okay so from tomorrow onwards only paid sessions will go on only paid students will be in the group so that is the reason people who are uh, paid or who are registered so please send your payment screenshot uh, cbm id okay just to send your payment screenshot to cbm id and shake up the else okay for doing registration please connect to this people okay so thank you all for your support cooperation so sir i have already sent to you sir okay okay if you are sent okay ignore if you not sent people who are not sent please send us screenshot okay sir, thank sir, you will we be able uh, sir uh, will we be able to get the already completed batch videos will, will it be possible so that we can watch whenever we are free or um uh, see uh, right now a uh, world batch details we have okay yes is it as well now we've changed the videos on there okay, okay. completely new sessions okay yes. so uh, this is completely new sessions if you need so we also provide video only videos not uh, not, not and if you are opting video sessions uh, we don't allow the classes okay so anyhow so uh, we just connect to our administration people bob this sir and call us up for the session i got i have one doubt Okay. Yes. Sir, I have one doubt, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, in this training, uh, regard to report to procure to payment order to cash supply chain management, this and all uh, covered, sir, or not, sir? Covered. Entry and confirmation, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.